Yo, for how long have you been doing game dev? One month? One year? Or maybe you just started? It doesn't actually matter, because you were probably doing your game wrong. And there are actually three reasons for that. First of all, you have probably been developing your game without any order. What I mean by this is that yesterday you were deep in the code and today you're hunting down the textures for your environment. Multitasking is fine, especially as a solo game developer, but without a good workflow you can easily become overwhelmed or even experience burnout. All AAA studios and professional game developers use a workflow. It makes the game creation process cleaner, easier and faster. Let's break down what a good workflow looks like. Concepts Start with a concept. Keeping all your ideas in your head instead of documenting them will likely overwhelm you. Your documents should include your game idea, mechanics, story and style. If you plan to sell your game, document your target audience and what makes your game unique. Once you've nailed down your concept, jump into prototyping. Imagine. Spending days on a cool or unique mechanic, modeling it, texturing it, creating sounds for it, and in the end, it sucks. Prototyping lets you test different ideas before committing to visuals or sounds. Finally, we hit the production stage. This is where the magic happens. Here you create the environment, props, textures, materials, characters, animations, effects, user interface, maybe even songs. There is a lot to create, but the best way to handle it is by using organizing and planning. Speaking of planning and organizing, the second reason you've probably doing your game wrong is the lack of clear plan. Without a plan, you might find yourself wondering what to do next and what you've already done. There's no one right way to plan, just break your big task into smaller ones. Keep track of what you learned, what you still need to learn, what's done and what to do next. For example, I will use the Milanote website. Here you can easily add boards, notes, photos, tasks, sketches and more. Let's see how it works. Drag and drop the board element. By pressing on it, we can change the color and the icon. Now let's open it and add some cool ideas. Once we've added some ideas here, we won't have to worry about getting confused anymore. But here's a little warning. Don't document too much, because you might start procrastinating, which can lead you to documenting more than you actually work. And finally, the last reason you've been doing your game wrong is the lack of right tools. Having the right tools can significantly sped up and improve your workflow. So, the first essential tool in your toolbox is AI. But you might say that everyone knows about AIs, right? There's been so much hype about making $10,000 a month with AI or fear that AI will take all over the world while generating stuff like this. So people started treating AI like a joke. However, there are actually two powerful AI tools that can truly be the game changers in game development. The first AI in your arsenal should be ChatGPT. I know it's obvious to talk about ChatGPT, but did you know that ChatGPT can now analyze photos? This means that now you can ask him for feedback, like, uh, can you rate my environment 1 out of 10? Or what props should I add to make my room feel less empty? With this photo analyzing tool, you'll improve much faster, because the feedback you from ChatGPT isn't the same as what you get from your friends, who might be kind with you even if your work looks something like this. Now let's talk about the real game changer. ChatGPT is common, but let me show you an AI that can actually blow your mind. This AI can create AAA quality 3D models and more importantly, textures. All previous 3D modeling AIs I've seen were making decent models, but the problem was textures. Just look at them. They doesn't look good. But now look at this. This AI is called Rodin. It can create models from text prompts and even more impressive, it can create 3D models from images. I guess there is no need to explain why this AI is incredible. We all need props in our games, but actually there's a little problem. In this video we're talking about creating your game faster, but creating all your 3D models with AI can be a little bit frustrating. That's why our next crucial tool is the Unreal Engine Marketplace. If you still haven't used the Unreal Engine Marketplace, you're really missing out. Because it literally offers you 5 incredible assets every month for 100% free. Yeah, free stuff is cool, but it has its own problems too. It will probably be used in tons of other games, it's not always the best quality and it's limited. You probably won't find a free asset like temperature control system or you have to wait for it to become free for a month. But that's unlikely to happen. 
this is where the having a game budget comes in. Like it or not, you will likely spend money on your game. Even if you're poor like me, you will still have to make money and invest in your game. And that is because good games cost millions of dollars. But wait, that is actually because you have to pay 100 plus professional employees. But if you're solo, your game can be good while still costing less than a thousand. Remember that creating games is fun, so with some budget, you will not have to spend thousands of boring hours on things you don't like. For example, instead of spending days or even weeks of hard work to create bad and scrappy animations, you can just simply buy from Marketplace. So, now you're ready to start creating your games much faster, with a good workflow, planning and organizing, and of course, good tools. I will leave all useful links in the descriptions. Bye!